And new information at 10. Colorado Springs leaders asking the community to care for its own, to donate around $30,000 for victims of the Regency Tower fire. The request comes as some of these people still don't have short-term housing lined up while that investigation into the fire continues. This is Sam Kramer live outside the apartments tonight with more on their story. Sam. Yeah, well, the soonest that those displaced residents can return here to the Regency Tower is August as crews work to remove asbestos from the impacted apartments. Now, that's why Silver Key, Pikes Peak, United Way, and the city are all working to fundraise and help those people in the meantime. It's been nearly a month since a fire at the Regency Tower Apartments displaced around 120 residents. Now, nonprofits and elected officials are reaching out for help to help them. These people do need some help. Now, we're, we're talking about trying to raise about $1,000 per. At a Thursday press conference, City Council, along with Silver Key and Pikes Peak United Way, announcing their goal of raising $30,000 to support the seniors now out of a home. But the money won't go solely toward housing. Toothbrush, toothpaste, um, you know, uh, toilet paper, those sort of things are really a high need in these sort of situations and are often overlooked. The soonest their apartments could be ready to be lived in again is August, assuming restoration work has no setbacks, while the majority of impacted residents are seniors. You know, it's a crisis uh, that we'll hopefully get through in the next couple months. Uh, but, you know, with construction the way it is in Colorado Springs, it may be longer. And, and uh, these are vulnerable people that really do need to have the community help them. Their goal, neighbors helping neighbors, ensuring a community supports its own when times are tough. We want to provide these people, mostly seniors, uh, with all the support and love that we can. Now, Scorman said the city could potentially help fund that $30,000 sum. That would be through a federal housing and urban development funding that they actually have. And if you're interested in donating and helping these folks, go to our website for more information. That's KOAA.com. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. I'm Sam Kramer, News 5.